Welcome back everyone, it's Evan here, going, well, basically show you what I built so far. You know, this, the giant base, the coal block arc foundations are supposed to be space. Since there is no, like, completely smooth black block, like, just one base color, of, you know, like, multiple base colors on top of each other making an effect coal block is the closest thing you can get you can use obsidian but uh, I doubt it it better use for ship anyway guys <laughs> the Republic ships just got some bigger forces though I can't decide which varieties of the ship armor mint I want do you know I made the acclimator cruisers one block longer on a three or eight down here. Oh, get out of the way, you big <coughs> zombie. Me. As you can see, I still have the original smaller variety. Though I can't decide which one of the two blocks should I use. Should I use stone slabs? stone brick slabs or a combination of both of them used by um, one of these ships one of the ships that goes double for the better class I already know what the top piece here is going to be out of stone slabs since it's the goddamn bridge you're going to need there now you know the giant or jump gate are still here don't how you enter this area if you find it oh apparently there's a block missing here a will entrance way or warp tunnel that you can fly through and you can see through all this stuff i found out what this ship was called the cis provident class ship A medium sized variety, not the largest or the smallest. The Provident class again, but this time the smallest you can get. It's NCIS Transport. A CIS Luca Hulk, the biggest one you can get. Well, I say big one, you can get it actually no size difference, it's just what weaponry attached on board and um, fans this is my um, insert fan fic I think in spaceship it a real spaceship in the Star Wars universe just I made some modifications to it right and do know this is my quote-unquote CIS captain command ship I can't decide which one the two names I like better Shadow Star or Shadow Knight because when this thing this thing attacks by ambushes it has several modifications one of them being in a um, Admiral Trench's reflector shields you know, that you saw in the Clone Wars how it could take a lot of hits it's with those shields and absorb all of that my ship have something similar to that, but instead of taking a hit and, and that hit goes nothing, it takes a hit and will spread the hit all around it, making it harmless. So a penetrating shot would just be a slight scratch. <laughs> you know, where all the um, obsidian is on board the ship, that's where all the, um, well, blue stained clay is. The front and its base the the Provident class ship. Yep, just remove this bit on the front end, and you got the front end of the ship. Stuff it. Oh, right, the engines are the wrong way. The middle. This engine down here goes up here. The two engine goes down.
one of the three modifications on board is, well, you heard one of them, a, the second modification is, well, basically, a super advanced hyperdrive. Right, where it can basically, boom, go right in, in to hyperspace in a blink of an eye. That's how fast. It's used for a hit and run attacks. And when it, when it rest of the ship for running capture mode, it brings on a special transport with a unique droid called the Annihilator Droid. Which is a type of droid that can, what should say, if you manage to destroy it, it, it will fall into several pieces. And then the pieces will magnetically connect themselves back together and make smaller varieties. It, it means to go through tight corridor spaces, it can just like drop off one of its arms and that arm will reassemble itself as a smaller variety of itself. Now, this droid can basically go a small, um, well, small as a buzz droid. That's how goddamn small it can go. Its big size takes up one of these blocks. You put this back in the real scale, that tells you how big this thing is. Quite big. It can basically capture a planet by itself. Heck, my ship can... Heck, the ship, either the Shadow Star or Shadow Knight, I can't decide which name, so I'm leaving that name to you. Leave down in the comment section of which name you want, Shadow Star or Shadow Knight. And do note, Knight, like the Night Sky, not like Knight, like a knight in shining armor. To clarify that. So, yeah. And do note, guys, I am expanding by having this massive space here, where there's going to be a lot of space battles. Heck, these three, these four CIS ships are having space battles of their own with the three, with, well, peace, originally with the same number of ships as them, but now with public reinforcements, more. And do note, the Venator class ship you can have is door here open. Note, underneath the red carpet here it both be slabs, any type of slab along it blends in. If you want the doors open, you can open them up to left and right. Don't, if you're doing that, then, well, you gotta move these blocks all the way there. Uh huh? to here and replace them with stone brick slabs. If you want to have it closed, if you don't want that, but you don't want the door open, you can do this. They have the slightly, the slightly down runway here for all the ships to go. Out in the combat. <coughs> you want to add some details on your own variety of a. Do you know these are one tenth scale varieties of their normal size? I tried to make a one tenth scale on the CIS ship. Yeah, I kind of. Or harder than I thought. Probably the bigger a ship is, it's the easier it is to make a smaller variety. The smaller a ship is, a little bit more tricky. Man, do with a tri fighter and Volta droid and basically the a lot of very already small starfighter ships, but that because I had ships that were pretty big enough to be big enough for a player to be walking inside these ships and calling them home so. <coughs> but 
right here is going to be another giant space battle. This time, it's going to be the control of it. Mm, I want to build a star forge here. I'm going to be taking a lot of looks at different camera angles, models, but what I know so far, it, it's a giant, it can have the same ability they had Star Killer Base. It absorbs the power of the sun to use the power up its entire god dang. And mm, kind of like a super weapon, but kind of not. A bit more like a giant foundry plant where it basically can map produce droid, droid units, spaceship, capitals, basically any type of unit you can make. Originally, the Sith Empire wanted to have that door for it so they could basically boot their production on multiple ships, but it sadly that went very bad. And you probably all know how the story goes you played the old public or seen it. Let's play a Star Wars the old public. So, <laughs> I know there are three giant, like, claw gun things that point towards the sun. And it goes slightly ab above it. So, once the Thor Forge is, well, built, I'll be... Anyway, guys, this is Evan. And always watch Word Hong Kong from the Epic Flying Saplings. And go watch TV channel from the TV. Bye.